I think it's that moment when everything stops sounding like gibberish and you start making something like, whoa, I actually understood that. My name is Daniel Tajwer and I speak, let's see, English, obviously, Urdu, Hindi if you want to count that, French, Spanish, Italian, a fair amount of German. Like I can do, a, I can have a decent conversation in German. I can work with literary Arabic. I think that's all of them for the most part. Yeah, I can rattle off a bunch of other phrases. I started learning languages not out of some passion for it at the at the at, at the beginning, but moreover because um, I wanted to be a, I wanted to work in diplomacy and stuff like that, right? And that languages are essential. So that's why sixth grade when I'm signing up for language and stuff, I chose French over Spanish and German because I thought that'd be useful in like international um, work and stuff like that. Um, as the process went on, it became to be more immersed in French culture through music, through stuff like that. After that, I kind of even addicted to the whole process, sort of a dopamine rush kind of thing, right? So um, after that, I went through, went through Italian, I went through many others, and at that point, I was just hooked, and I got really into the, I really bought into the whole process of learning about new cultures, about gaining new perspectives about the world, and really just like immersing myself at the world at large. I'm very willing to like consider things from a variety of international perspectives. I find myself easily able to adjust myself to different um, culture shock and that kind of stuff, right? And overall, besides that, I think it's also opened a, up a wealth of information in many regards. Countless times it's been like English essays and stuff, I found like, oh, there's this resource in French I can use or something, right? And um, it's just really helped me many times. It's, helped, it's enriched me culturally in, in terms of understanding the world. It's given me a lot of new experiences, being able to talk to people and everything in the world. We went to Europe and France and Italy. It really helped being able to talk to the people in their own language and not be like the typical American tourist and that kind of stuff. And it also helped me with the information. So it's been an incredible thing overall, and it's been an amazing asset to have. When you first start with the language, it can seem really intimidating with all this stuff, right? You have a few phrases you've probably learned and you've paired it off. And trying to cross the threshold of being able to talk to a native speaker and not be like, oh no, I sound like trash, why don't I just resort to English? Um, the, other, the thing is that a lot of us English speakers, we have the luxury of being able to communicate with the rest of the world in English, but it also um, takes away from our experience as well. Because when we have the option of the crutch, really, of English, that sometimes a lot of people opt to rely upon that crutch. You feel like you're not a part of the thing. You kind of get the foreign experience, the tourist experience. Taking the plunge is one of the most difficult parts at the beginning, to be willing to like talk to native speakers and be like, oh no, it's okay if you embarrass yourself. You have to make mistakes to improve yourself. If you're trying to be a perfectionist and like, trying to like, okay, if, I make, if I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm just gonna keep quiet, then ultimately you're just not gonna end up learning it because you're not gonna be able to practice it. Not only does learning learning languages help you open up to new perspectives and all the benefits of, but you become a better English speaker in that. So you really have to, don't be feel constricted to learn languages that are important or, use, or useful. Learn languages that actually interest you, uh, of the countries of which you sort of feel an attachment to affiliation with, because that, or an affinity with, because that really is going to be um, the most crucial link in being able to continue those language passions. And I think it's a tragedy when people don't fall, learn the languages they actually want to learn.